Go to your room. Just get out of my face. Go somewhere. Where do you go when you've reached your breaking point and you need a safe space just to breathe? Check out this video on how we can create safe spaces for our children when they need a moment. Hey, it's Dr. Z. I share lessons for the home mom, work mom, mom to be to empower, enrich, and inspire you. If you're new to the channel, I hope you'll consider liking, subscribing, and hitting that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our future videos. So today's video is actually a part two to a previous video that I recorded, which was entitled Three Ways to Help Children Deal with Anxiety or Fear. So I will link that above as an info card. If you missed that, check it out. But today is going to focus on creating a safe space for our children to be able to unwind and debrief. This video was really influenced by my daughter, which some time back she asked me one day, just out of really exasperation, mom, can I have some time to myself away from my brother? And you know, I could have responded like, girl, that's your brother. You're supposed to love him. What you mean you need time away? You six, boo. What you talking about? Instead, I took it to mean that she really needed a moment to herself to breathe from time to time. So if you ever see my video on the time block, on the block schedule, uh, I created the block called Quiet Time as a result of needing my child needing more space to herself. And it's a time when her siblings are napping and she's able to go into her room and do something that allows her to be uh, to unwind and to just do something creative for herself where she can have that time and feel like it's just her. And so um, for her, that could be painting and sometimes it's make-believe with her dolls sometimes it's uh, reading a book so in my classroom when I was a teacher I created something called the safety zone and the safety zone was geared towards students being able at any point during the lesson to go to this space to be able to debrief now you could think okay well doesn't that influence the class time and all of that no because our kids are brought to us or children come to us with all sorts of things going on emotionally before they get to us they may have had a bad day something may have been said on the way or the ride in you don't know and so uh if they're doing work and their mind is going anyway they're really not focused on that work so this was a way for them to go to a space in the classroom set a timer for two minutes and then do something in that space that connected to them and I had things like stress balls mazes and puzzles all sorts of books quotes that were inspirational a rake if they needed to hear something or do something tactile they had me uh one of those um uh, kind of sound machines flowing and playing. Uh, and so just something to get them at the reset so that they could then be optimum for learning. And guess what? We can create that for our children at home because something can set them off in the course of a day. School, something that happened with a friend, something that they're just going through in their bodies. And so this creates that space to say, you can reset. And this is something you don't need me. I don't have to be there, but this is a safe space already created for you. So you can create that for your child based on what they naturally gravitate toward. It can be painting. If it's an older child, it can be a board where they're able to draw out their thoughts or write out their thoughts. It's a journal. You get to determine that for your child, but they really can do it on their own. And um, they know that it's there, not as a form of punishment, not as a form of something is wrong with you, but as a safe space for you to unwind just like we need. Because I've come to understand when there's a void, when there's something that's lacking in you, when you're looking to fulfill a need, whether it's you being depleted, you needing rest, it's going to get filled by something. So why not navigate our children towards something positive, something healthy, something that says, get yourself back to your safe space and then now we can move forward. And moving forward, maybe we have to talk about it. Maybe something was said out of anger, out of frustration, out of anxiety, out of fear that now you have to go back to and correct. But at least they're back at their place of and you're back, it gives you a moment as well. And now y'all can have a healthy conversation about it. It's important to note that that space does not have to be physical. It could be just setting an atmosphere in your home, an atmosphere with maybe music. It could be uh, essential oils, some sort of diffuser that helps with just mental stimulation. It could be an atmosphere where uh, certain words are used in your home. For example, my children have a wall where they have questions where in the typical kind of homeschooling journey, they, we may not be able to answer it when they ask it 
right away, but I want to make sure we address it. So there's questions that we put on a sticky note and we stick it on the wall. It's in the kitchen, but they know that they can go back to that wall and find those questions. Well, think about it. If there was something that your child was going through or they needed a moment to just write something out, could you create a space where they could go there and they could jot something down, thinking about older children, um, jot down their thoughts, or maybe there's a question or maybe they want to communicate something, but they're not in a place where they can say it to you and they write it and they put it in that box and maybe you go to it and at some point you guys can talk about it. So again, it's about the atmosphere more than it is about a physical location, but I hope this was helpful for you. I hope something was in it that you could use. Please let us know if there's a strategy that you already use or if there's something you heard in this video that would be beneficial for helping children to find a space to be able to come down, reset, and then be their optimal best. Hope you guys continue to watch us and follow us. We thank you for watching. We look forward to our next video. Have a blessed day. Don't forget to subscribe. Click the bell. We'll see you next time.